อุทยานราชพักเป็นอุทยานที่สร้างขึ้นด้วยความจงรักภักดีและเพื่อเป็นการเทิดทูนและประกาศเกียรติคุณพระมหากษัตริย์แห่งสยามประเทศมวยไทยจากศาสตร์การต่อสู้ปกป้องชาติบ้านเมืองสืบสาวรักษาวิถีความเคารพนอบน้อมแต่แฝงด้วยจิตใจเข้มแข็งกล้าหาญต่อยอดมรดกภูมิปัญญาทางวัฒนธรรมวันมวยไทยดังไกลสู่ชาวโลกขอต้อนรับท่านผู้มีเกียรติทุกท่านเข้าสู่การแข่งขันไทยไฟค่าเชื่ออุทยานราชพักพบกับสองผู้ดำเนินรายการเป็กเปรมนักสุวรรณานนท์และเบี่ยวสุริยนอรุณวัฒนากุลสวัสดีครับผมเป็กเปรมนักสุวรรณานนท์ครับสวัสดีครับผมเดี่ยวสุริยนอรุณวัฒนากูลนะครับตอนนี้กลับสวัสดีทุกท่านทั่วประเทศหรือว่าเป็นทั่วโลกเลยก็ได้นะฮะเพราะเรามีการยิงสัญญาณหลากหลายช่องทางมากครับกลับสวัสดีนะครับพี่พี่น้องๆที่อยู่ทางหน้าจอช่อง8นะครับและทุกท่านทั่วโลกที่ชมอยู่ทาง YouTube Channel ของเราในช่องไทยไฟออฟฟิเชียลและทุกคนที่อยู่ที่นี่นะครับทุกคนครับนี่คือการแข่งขันชกมวยไทยที่แสดงถึงอัตลักษณ์ความเป็นไทยขอต้อนรับทุกท่านเข้าสู่การแข่งขันชกมวยไทยโลกไทยไฟค่าเชือกอุทยานราชพักครับตอนนี้เราอยู่กันที่ลาดุทยานราชพักหัวหินประจวบคีรีขันบรรยากาศดีมากคนนั่นมากนแน่นอนเปิดตัวอย่างอลังการนะศิลปะแม่ไม้มวยไทยนะให้ไปไกลสู่ระดับโลกนี่คือซอฟต์พาวเวอร์ของไทยแลนด์จริงๆนะฮะครับเอาละหลายคนนะวันนี้ก็อยู่ที่หัวหินอยู่ประจวบคีรีขันนะบางคนบึงมาจากกรุงเทพนะฮะบางคนบึงมาจากหลายเรื่องเพื่อมาดูไทยไฟวันนี้จะรออะไรฮะเริ่มที่คู่แรกเลยดีกว่านะครับเปิดความมันด้วยพิกัดน้ำหนักนะครับ65กิโลกร,รัมเบาๆก่อนนักมวยคนแรกนะฮะขาลุยจากประเทศจอร์เจียขอเสียงต้อนรับผู้กล้าจากจอร์เจียโทฟิกอับดุลลายเอฟโทฟิกอับดุลลายเอฟผู้กล้าจากจอร์เจียประเทศจอร์เจีย
วครูเปิดของเราต้องไม่ธรรมดาอยู่แล้วนะครับนักชกคนแรกครับขึ้นสังเวียนแล้วคนนี้น่ารักมากนะฮะผมเจอด้านหลังเวทีไนท์มากเห็นไหมครับทุกคนนี้วิ่งขึ้นมาเนี่ยด้วยใบหน้าที่ยิ้มแย้มแจ่มใสอ๋อนึกว่าเขามาแจกอมยิ้มหรือแบ่งเข้ากับเพาให้คุณยินไนท์ไนท์อ๋อไนท์เฉยๆแล้วก็มาด้วยความมั่นใจในวันนี้สนุกแน่กับคู่แรกของเรานะครับมาลุยกันเลยนะครับคนที่ชื่นมาปะทะด้วยนั้นผมบอกแล้วว่าเรามีเยาวชนดังขึ้นมาและนี่คือหนึ่งในไทยไฟลีกของเรานะครับปรบมือดังๆต้อนรับด้วยครับกับมหาการด่านโคราชกลาศึกสิทธิ์จากค่ะกลาศึกสิทธิ์จากค่ะมหาการด่านโคราชประเทศไทยGood evening, one and all, and welcome back to the Big Thai Fight. We're here in the beautiful Hua Hin at Rajabakiti Park, located in Prachwap Kiri Khan. Designated to the Royal Thai Army, it is an historical park honoring the past seven kings of Siam. Now, Kevin, I was about to read them, but I feel like, in honor of your knowledge, you should now name the kings that are situated behind. The Thai commentary team. Yeah, you can see the statues right there. The first statue is King Ram Kam Heng from Sukhothai Thai era. Then we got King Nare Suan, then King Narai. Then we got King Taksin from the Tonburi era. And then in the modern era, we have Rama 1, Rama 4, and Rama 5. Incredible. Amazing. Introducing first from Georgia in the white corner, who you've seen previously on Thai Fight. Tofik Abduliev, 29 years of age, born in Gadabani in Georgia. Standing at 167 centimeters, he has a professional record of 57 fights, 34 victories, 23 losses, and one draw. Two of those losses, maybe possibly even three if I go back in time, have come here at Thai fight, most notably against Sanchai last year. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Glasuk Sitjakla. His real name is Saran Simurat. 24 years of age, 169 centimeters tall, from Nakhon, Rajasima province. He has a total of 74 fights, 54 victories, and 20 losses. Of course, Thai Fight League fans are going to be anticipating this one. Yeah, I feel like the way that Glasuk Fights, he probably does have his own fan club. This is a super fight in our very first bout of the evening here at this big tie fight. And you can just see there from that camera angle how many fans have packed in to this incredible place. And the referee in charge for this one is referee Arun Kumutashat. Judges ringside are Pukit Bramparyun, Patanan Pongsapan and Sema Tipkiri and the President of the judges and the referees here on Thai Fight is Dr. Sawang with the Epitak. All right, here we go. In the white corner from Georgia, Tofik Abduliev. And in the black corner is Glasuk Sitjaklad. Here we go, round number one. So far, we've seen Tofik not have the best of times competing. He's definitely got the talent. He's definitely got the talent. He knows Muay Thai. He's been here for years. He has a long time. 
still trying to find that success. I can hear the Royal Thai Army fans in the background. Looks like we're going to have a boisterous crowd. I like that. Left hand there from Glassuk. Right hook. Good start here by the Thai Fight League superstar. Of course, he did finish runner up in the tournament. But the way he fights, he knew that he was going to be invited back here onto Thai Fight. Oh, definitely. And during that match, there's a lot of people who think that Glassuk should have been declared the winner. So in that case, Ooh. why not bring him back? Nice left hook to the body there by Glassuk. Yeah, we've seen Abdulia fight at 70 kilograms, and this time coming down in weight, fight at 65. Might suit him better, you would think. On the back foot, already here. Low kick by Glasser. We have seen in the past that Glasser sometimes does like to take a little bit of punishment before he gets motivated, but started well here. Yeah, as well, most of the time with Glasser, we've seen him more as a technical fighter. And now he's just trying to push forward, trying to knock his opponent out. Not sure what it is. It's maybe because he's on the big Thai fight show. <laughs> well, you know, the Thai fight, as much as I love the Thai fight arena and how compact it is. Nothing like being here in a big Thai fight, but what's it like for Glasser? Performing in front of thousands of fans and probably more televised fans than you would do on a Thai fight lead show, even though that show gets ridiculous amounts of viewers as well. Yes, it does. Both shows do. Inside kick there. More from Glasser, and again, he's going outside, now he's going inside to that standing left leg of Tofik. Jumping in with a right hand that time. Yeah, we know Tofik for liking to retreat a little bit. He likes to go backwards and fight on the back foot, but it's not doing him much favours at the moment. Yeah, swinging right hand there from Glasser, just missing Tofik Abduliev. Spinning back kick by Abduliev. No, oh, Glasser scouted it and threw in a right kick for good measure. Getting the crowd off the feet with that one. We see how desperate Glasser is. Just trying to look for that knockout. Ofik being a little bit too evasive at the moment. Yeah, making it a little bit too easy for Glasser. It's the wrong thing to do against someone like Glasser. You know he's just going to continue to move forward. Left hook there by Glasser! right kick, good right hand to the body there by Topic. Yeah, I believe Topic is just waiting to counter Glassic every single time Glassic throws, he tries to throw a counter of his own. Constantly on the back foot throughout this round, he can even tell the ref. Oh, good right hand there from Glassic. End of round number one here on the big tie fight. for Glasuk. He was constantly on the front foot, attacking Tofik Abduliev, connecting with some good left and right hooks and some beautiful low kicks as well. They're scouting Tofik's spinning back kick, but too easy, in my opinion, from Glasuk, even though he did eat that left high kick rather well. But uh, I would say I'm not a betting man, but I think Glasuk took that round, Kevin. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt about it. Glasuk definitely took. Just on the offense, looking for the kill, and just really accurate. Yeah, we need to see more now from Topic Abduliev. Yeah, he has to push forward. But what we do know about oh, Glasser is that he loves to push forward now. That's right, at least not keep moving backwards. He 
got to meet Glasshook head on, stand toe to toe and go at him because clearly moving backwards is playing into Glasshook's playing plan like right now. Yeah, and speaking of that, he is actually trying to go toe to toe with Glasshook at the moment. Much better from a Tofik. Yeah, left hand there. Good right kick to the arm by Glasshook. Left high kick by Abduliev. Yeah, Already great. you can see that he's being he's throwing a lot more than in round number one. Left high kick. Trying to pop that jab. Constantly moving around the ring. Another good combination there from Glasshook as he continues to chase Tofik. Tofik on the back foot once again. I mean, he started off the round pretty well. Trying to change blows with Glasshook, but he's not doing that a anymore. And Tofik looking to go down low. He's so apprehensive. I feel like he's worried more about what Glasshook's going to do than what he can do. But that was a nice left kick to the body, doubling up that time. To the body and to the arm, right kick there by Glasshook. Another roundhouse kick there from Tolfik. He's connecting very well with those. Maybe something he wants to explore more and more as the match continues. Going downstairs with his kick was Tolfik, but it was blocked that time by Glasshook. More of a competitive round number two right now here on Thai Fight. And we saw it. Better, good right hand to the midsection. Oh, good left up the reply by Glasshook. Yeah, he caught him very well with the left hand, Glasshook. And this time it was Glasshook waiting for Tofik to attack. Right, hand, right kick by the tie. And once again, you can see Abduliev is starting to move backwards like we saw in round number one. Oh, big left hand from Glasshook. Down goes Abduliev. But he comes right back up again. The referee decides not to count. Pulls it as a slip. Good left kick. Once again, he goes down. The referee doesn't count. Pops back up, and here comes Glasser in the mood here. How many more times does Tofik need to go down until the referee starts counting? Well, Glasser is going to continue to chase. Big left hand, left knee. Oh, we're going to see Tofik go down for a fourth time then. That man is staying on his feet this time, but still on the back foot. Glasser moves forward, continues to work. Another right big right hand, there. left knee there by Glasser. Attempted elbow from Abduliev. He just moves once again. Surely. Surely. Big left hand. Topic goes down. Certain account this time. Yeah, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, that's the fourth time he's actually gone down. Here we go. Glasso pushing forward once again, looking for that knockout blow. And down he goes. It. Is that number five? Or the second count? Just to, we need two more to match the amount of kings that are watching behind us. <laughs> Oh, who do you think took that one? <laughs> Stay with us, third round coming up next. Let's have a look at the highlights from round number two. The two knockdowns from Glass Uck. Two official knockdowns. Two official knockdowns. We counted what, five overall, where Topic was actually floored. But what can you say, a tremendous round. I mean, Topic, in fairness, he started very well. And you know what he did? As soon as he started to retreat, that's where he got clipped by Glass Uck. Yeah, I mean, he started off the round quite well. He decided to go forward, try to trade, trade blows with Glass Uck, and it was actually working out for him. It was, I agree completely, but in the end, he reverted back to his old ways and he got clipped twice. Last 
Hunter can't knock him down another two times. In round number three, it will be declared over. Either way, this is the third and final round of your very first bout this evening on the big tie fight. Here we go. Oh, good left hook there by Topic. Yeah, so much venom in the shots from Vlasic now. Topic fight. Oh, speaking of big shots, a massive right hand there by Vlasic. And down goes Topic Abdulia for the third time. This fight, one more, and it will be done. Oh, my goodness. And he gets and he it. And he saved the best to last. A left hook from hell by Glasser, and it's all over. Wow, that was very impressive from Glasser. He pushed forward in the first round, he pushed forward in the second round, and he went for the kill in the third. Exactly what he needed to do. He came out in that third round like a menace, and he knew all he had to do was knock down Topic Abdulia twice, and boy, did he achieve that. Superb by Glasser Sinjakla, and that is why he was invited onto the big Thai fight. What a great fighter, what a great entertainer. Yeah, that was the first knockdown. Beautiful right hand there from Glasser. And you saw there, Tofik was trying to counter. But it wasn't to be. And that was the finishing blow. That was. What technique, that left hook. And I'll tell you what, the ropes are tight. I mean, if your head bounces off the ropes like that, it's I, not going to feel good at all. I wanted seven knockdowns. <laughs> I think we achieved it. I think we did. All right, stay with us. Eunice Benali versus Maliki is next. Pushing out the winner is Classic Sinjakla from Thailand. Yeah. 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 ผมเอาละครับมาลุยกันที่คู่ต่อไปดีกว่าคู่ต่อไปพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนัก65กิโลกรัมนะครับแน่นอนว่าสำหรับความมันของความมวยเนี่ยนะฮะถ้าพูดถึงฝีมือฝีมือของนักมวยเนี่ยนะครับก็คือจะเก่งในเรื่องของประสบการณ์นั่นคือความเก่าหรือจะเป็นเรื่องของอายุนั่นคือความสดนะครับแต่นักมวยคนนี้จะขอใช้ความเก่าเอามาสยบความสดของรุ่นน้องกันขอเสียงต้อนรับจอมบูองศาเดือดฟ้าลิกิตมัดเด็ดมวยไทยฟ้าลิกิตมัดเด็ดมวยไทยจอมบูองศาเดือดประเทศไทยแววตาและสมาธิมีความตั้งใจมากๆเลยนะครับตรงนี้ครับพอทุกไฟคือความสําคัญที่สุดนะครับทุกคนครับมาแล้วครับจอมบูองศาเดือดมาดูซิฮะจะได้เจอหมัดเด็ดของเขาหรือเปล่าคนคนนี้นะครับที่ชื่นมาต่อก่อนด้วยนั้นเป็นไทยไฟล์นิวบรัดนั่นหมายความว่านี่คือสายเลือดใหม่เป็นชาวโบโรโกจับเซ็นสัญญาเรียบร้อยอายุน้อยมากนะฮะประมาณ20
สิบเก้ายี่สิบเท่านั้นเองแต่สามารถขึ้นไทยไฟใหญ่ได้แล้ววันนี้มาลุยกันเลยนะครับปรบมือได้ดังต้อนรับด้วยครับนี่คือสลามขาวแห่งแทนเจียบยูเนสเบนเนลียูเนสเบนเนลีสลามขาวแห่งแทนเจียบประเทศโมร็อกโกIntroducing first that man right there in the white corner. He goes by the name of Farlikit Madet Moy Thai, 29 years of age from Ranong Province here in Thailand, standing at 173 centimeters. He has a professional record of 95 fights, 73 victories, 20 losses, and two draws. He previously went by the name of Pet Panyan. And was part of the Thai fight team back in 2018. And there you see his opponent fighting out of the black corner, newly signed to Thai fight, but has competed on the Thai fight league shows before. His name is Yunus Benali, 21 years of age, 180 centimeters tall, from Tangier, Morocco. He has a total of 41 fights, 32 victories, and nine losses. Yeah, uh, for the Thai Fight Leagues, they'll definitely remember that he knocked out Det Song Wood. <laughs> what a story. What a way for Yunus Benali to get onto the Thai Fight team. Coming in to be a warm-up fight between the semi-final and final for Det Song Wood and ends up knocking him spark out at Thai Fight League. Yeah. Did make an appearance on the big Thai fight in the last show that we had on Christmas Eve last year where he actually did lose, though, to Pet Pak Mai, another Thai Fight League favorite so it's a big night here for both these fighters because Eunice you know newly signed here to Thai fight to be potentially a big star for the company for years to come losing his first bout on the big Thai fight and for Farlikit you know going about his business very nicely on Thai fight league winning a lot of fights and now potentially with a shot at redemption absolutely and let's not forget that he is training at Pet Saman so Following the footsteps of yes. Yusuf Bugunam. Very interesting story. And the referee in charge is referee Sanong Um Im. Judge of the ringside, Tuan Ying Ubon, Bunya On Pengwuk, and Arun Kumutashat. Yeah, I think there was a, a big hole that was left in the Thai fight team when Yunus Bugunam eventually did leave Thai fight. It brought something very special to Thai fight, being one of the best middleweights in the world but of course you can't really put that pressure on Yunus Benali just no, you because can't. he's a Muslim and he trains at Petsaman <laughs> and he's from Morocco and he's from Morocco of course they got a lot of similarities it's true but there's one thing's for sure I mean Yunus Benali definitely looks up to Yusuf Bagunam there's no doubt about it so let's see what he can do here in this fight against Falikit now when we saw Falikit first enter the ring he looked really fired up coming here to make a statement. Maybe if use Eunice as the fighter took his place, I know that's not directly correlated, but you know, the way that he came into that ring, the way that he was a part of the Thai fight team, 
car makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of things that Fadley Kid wants to do right this time. That's right. That didn't work out for him before, and I think so far he's on the right path. But now, who stands in his path? Yunus Benali, the young, hungry Moroccan fighter. That possesses so much power. Good kick there from Fadley Kid. But Fadley Kid, technical fighter, no slouch. Defensively very astute as well. We've seen that on Thai Fight League. Many fighters have tried to attack him relentlessly. But he covers up. Oh, good left kick to the midsection there by Farlikin. You know, people always describe Farlikin as a technical fighter. But what they forget is how much power yeah. he has in his shots. Just like the kick we saw earlier. Yunus there just taking his time. The, uh, on the stream like to say he's just downloading the information shout out to all the fans watching around the world on the Thai Fight International YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe like leave comments believe me we read them all unfortunately <laughs> good stiff left jab there by Eunice good left kick to the midsection and again that's three that Farley is connected with flush in this round yeah those left kicks from Valen Kid, they're absolutely fantastic. So accurate, so powerful, and gonna score him some big, big points. Another good evasion there from Valen Kid. Just so technical, so crafty. Kick almost connected there. Yeah, once again, and why not looking for that left kick? It's working. Another left kick connects. Oh, he really is causing problems with that left kick. I'll tell you what, Yunus Benali, he needs to start blocking some of these kicks. Just, the pain is just going going to build up as the fight goes on. Yeah, he's turning into one of those things where he's waiting for that kick. I think he's more worried about what's in front of him uh, rather than the actual fight itself. Absolutely. He needs to stop thinking about the kick and just try to go in for the kill. Oh, there it is once again. Just waiting for that kick. <laughs> Good kick there from Yunus. Trying to go for the jab, but just missing. This moment here. You know that Farlick is going to throw that left kick, so does Yunus. He's just waiting for it so he can try to defend it. Yeah, it's great a round so far. There it is. End of round one. A great round, in our opinion, for Farlick in the white corner. Boy, does he know. corner and Falakid, but then Muay Thai in the white and so far I mean it's been all Falakid especially with those left kicks to the body. Let's take a look at that, the replay. My goodness. I mean if somebody else you may lose a rib or two. Yeah very true but I've got to be honest it's not nice to say but I feel like Yudas Benali is frozen on the big stage here on Thai Fight. He's got to do a lot more in rounds two and three because we believe that Falakid took that round. <laughs> any doubt about it but a lot of fighters that's what happens you know when they fight against a technician yeah. they just freeze they don't know what to do next they, they're just guessing what their opponent's going to do next what Yunus Benali needs to do is push forward be the fighter that he is he's an aggressive fighter he loves to throw hands do that what he needs to do as well is not potentially training against southpaws that's a good left hand there from Valakit he doesn't seem you see that's a body shot by Yunus Benali beautiful 
And what Switch did he say? of levels! What did we say? What did he need to do? Throw some hands, and there it is! And that is it! Yunus Benali by knockout in the second round! No okay, celebration! In, in between the rounds, you said to me, where is the power of Yunus Benali? Where has he gone? And there is your answer, my friend! A beautiful shot to the midsection that Farlikin was not expecting! And down went Farlikin, and down he stays! Wow! Yunus Benali! Incredible! A disappointing. In pain, Farlikin. Let's have a look at that shot. Bang! Farlikin did everything in his power to try and stay on his feet. But the ripple and effects of that body shot can be heard around the park here in Huahin. And Yunus Benali. After losing round number one, finds the fire. And my goodness, if Yunus Bulganem is watching, he will be proud of his student. Well, his son is here today, believe it or not. Yeah. That was impressive. Woo. Welcome to Thai Fight, Yunus Banali. Next. And oh. coming up next, <laughs> of course, is Beryl. The winner is Yunus Benali from Monaco. You did well, Cap. You did well, Cap. And we're going to celebrate with the winner. It's not a joke. We're going to celebrate with you. And this is the most beautiful thing of Thai, Cap. นี่ฮะผมแล้วก็การแข่งขันจบไปนะฮะแต่ความรักกันนะฮะของมวยไทยนี่คือมิตรภาพของมวยไทยจริงครับครับเอาครับเดี๋ยวกลับมานะฮะ
นารีขาหดน้องบิวทอเทพสุเทนน้องบิวทอเทพสุทินนารีขาหดประเทศไทยแฟนๆเยอะทีเดียวนะฮะแล้วก็ใจดีซะด้วยนะฮะวันนี้ทุกคนเลยครับทีเดียวนะฮะน้องบิวครับบอกแล้วนะฮะนี่สูงยาวเข่าดีนะฮะเตะทีนะฮะหลับนักเดินในสิบอยากรอไหมฮะไม่ใช่เฮซะด้วยเฮซะด้วยอยากลองหลับดูสตั้งเมื่อกี้นะบอกให้ลุกขึ้นเต้นไม่ลุกพอนักมวยหญิงก็มาลุกกันไปแถวเลยนะมุมนี้นะยาวๆเลยนะครับโอเคสนุกมากครับคุณน้องๆด้วยเดี๋ยวดูฝีมือเขาบริธีก่อนครับผมจะรู้ว่าก่อนจะสรุปผลกันดูคนคนนี้ก่อนนะฮะดีกรีไม่มากไม่น้อยอขึ้นชัยไฟ15ครั้งชนะทั้งหมด15ครั้งครับโอ้ยดีกรีสุดจัดไม่ธรรมดาปรบมือเด็ดังต้อนรับด้วยครับนี่คือสาวแกล่งรุ่มสารวินเวโรวโรจิโนวงเวโรวโรจิราวงสาวแกล่งลุ่มสารวิทประเทศเมียนมาFor the females here on Thai fight, it's the third bout of the evening, and it is a super fight at 54 kilograms. Myanmar taking on Thailand. Some of the military boys there enjoying the entrance of Nongbo. It seems. That's right. <laughs> a lot of Nongbu fans here. And of course, a lot of Vero fans as usual. Well, don't forget. I mean, when we did the polls, as in, who's the more, who's the most popular yeah. Thai fight athlete, and it turned out to be Vero. Absolutely, uh, no surprising. I'm sure there's many 
people, supporters of Vero from Myanmar watching on the Thai Fight International YouTube channel now as we speak. So hello to you. Introducing first in the white corner, Nongbu Ta Tep Su Tin, 22 years of age from Nakhon Ratchasima province, where the next Thai fight will be held, or the next big Thai fight will be held later this month. 168 centimeters tall, with a professional record of 60 fights, 48 victories, 10 losses, and two draws. A former WPMF Muay Thai champion and a former WMC Muay Thai champion as well. And introducing her opponent in the black corner. She is the queen of Kat Chuk and the pride of the Karina pe Karini people in Myanmar, Vero Vorujratwong. 27 years of age, 164 centimeters tall, originally from Shan State in Myanmar. Has a total of 44 fights, 25 victories, 2 losses, and 17 draws. She was the Thai fight champion in 2023 and 2022. Of course, a bronze medalist in the Southeast Asian Games as well. Started her Thai fight career February 2022, did Vero. She's currently riding a 15-fight win streak on this promotion with eight knockouts to her name. Quite the journey for the Queen of Card Chuk. Let's see how she performs against someone in Nong Bu who we haven't seen in the world of Muay Thai in about maybe a year, 18 months now. It is going to be a difficult night for Nong Bu. Yeah. But we have seen Pia Singh, who was a lot smaller than Vero, not in the last event, but a few events before, caused some trouble for Vero. Let's see what Nong Bu can do this evening. Here we go, round number one. Last time we saw Vero actually win via Teep to face. <laughs> Correct. Let's see what she's got up her sleeve this time. Little kick to start things off. Right, relatively slowly here, almost like a five-round stadium fight. Low kicks there by Vero. Good. Referee, right, so. not happy with the action so far. And neither were the military men, but now they are happy after the morning. Right hand to the body there, we've seen the devastation that could cause our last bout. Left hook there and a right hand by Vero. Great combination there from Vero. The more we see Vero, the better her combinations get. Go for Nongbu, still on the defensive. Yeah, this is too slow here by Nongbu. Looks apprehensive. Yeah, perhaps a bit of ring rust as well. Nerves, letting in maybe. Left hook there by Vero. Nongbu again taking more kicks to that left leg, the fly and the car. Yeah, she needs to start blocking those low kicks. No way she can continue this match if she keeps on taking them. Good block there from Dong Biu. Vero setting up. Good body shot once again. And again to the body. Dong Biu covering up. She eats a left hand and down she goes. And yeah, when she receives those body shots, he didn't want any more. She does get up. And you can see the pain. You can still feel. Absolutely. This is far too easy right now for Vero. Yeah, Dong Biu not making it difficult at all. But Vero is just that good. Going for the body once again, and why not? If it worked before, it will work again. And now she goes for the second time, and the referee rightly calls it. Nongbu in no condition to continue. And Vero, another victory to her name here on Thai Fight. Just too easy. Still the queen of Kachuk. In front of the seven kings, Vero. Does it here again on Thai Fight 16 and 0 with nine knockouts? Congratulations to her. Still to come. Thai, of course, in the main event. But next up, the Lion of Thai Fight returns. Stay with us. Let's take a look at some of the replays there from. That first round, the only round. Once Vero found the body, she decided to go in for the kill immediately. I mean, she could see Nongbyu react to all those shots.
once again, there's that left hand to the body. Longview goes down, and Pharaoh just finishes with another left hand to the body, doubles it up. Of course, coming up next is Lion, while Pai Lin taking on Abu Faz. The winner is Richard Wong from Myanmar. ยินดีด้วยนะครับโอ้โหนี่ก็เป็นการชนะนะฮะครั้งที่ครับจะรอช้าอะไรมาสาดความมันกันต่อดีกว่าฮะคู่ต่อไปเป็นคู่มวยยักษ์ครับเพราะว่าพบกันในพิกัดน้ำหนักเจ็ดสิบแปดกิโล
an international super fight at 68, sorry, 78 kilograms. We've got Thailand taking on Iran. And in the white corner, that man right there, Abu Fazal Mar Marazaran. 29 years of age from Meshkin Shah Abidal in Iran. Standing at 183 centimeters. Has a professional record of 35 fights. 23 victories, 10 losses and two draws. And of course, one of those losses coming here on Thai fight in a very competitive fight against Deng Nung. And his opponent fighting out of the black corner, it's Lion Wa Pai Lin, formerly known as Lion Family Muay Thai. His real name is Anan Shayasan. 25 years of age, 175 centimeters tall from Nonta Buri province, just north of Bangkok. He has a total of 120 fights, 80 victories, 35 losses, and five draws. Well, so far, a quick night of action here on Thai fight. We've seen three fights. None of them have gone the distance. In fact, we've seen one second round knockout and two first round knockouts. Oh, sorry, two round two knockouts and the last fight, Vero knocking her opponent out in round number one. You would think the way that Marazaran performed against Dennung, it's not gonna be an easy night for Lion, or is it? Let's find out right now. Swing and a miss there by Marazaran. You gotta love the showmanship That's from Lion. What entertaining this boy. But surely, Marazaran is going to make him want to pay the price for that one. Yeah. This is going to be a good bout. Big shots to the body there from Lion. Round right behind the Lion. Big elbow there within the clinch by Lion. Lion already pouncing at his opponent early on. Good point, my friend. Marazaran looking to go down low. Something wrong with the iron. Right, is cut already, perhaps? Body there from the Razoran as Lion advances. Another good low kick there from Razoran. Lion takes oh, it well. Oh, Superman punch there by the Razoran. Yeah, but he got countered by Lion just as he came in. Yeah, wrong with the left eye of uh, Lion. Yeah, it seems like he's struggling a little bit to keep it open. Yeah, you can see. And Marazaran using that reach that he has. Yeah, one and thing we lion. know about the Iranian is that. Oh, taunting the lion. Oh, good left hand, right hand by Marazaran. I was about to say, Marazaran, he can go toe to toe with anybody at this weight class. He is that strong. We were talking about previous fighters tonight, how they were backing off and backing off. Not Marazaran. Now, Marazaran, he always goes toe to toe with the best. Taking it to Lion early on. Left <laughs> oh! Two bulls knocking horns here on Thai fight. The crowd absolutely loving this one. Not sure where Lion was trying to take Marazza around, but glad the ropes were there. Let's just say that. Blood flowing from the nose now of Lion. Yeah, Marazza around so powerful in his shots. Once again, it's Lion going forward. Oh! Again, a clash potentially of heads. Lion Bin. Feel the intensity in the ring right now. Good right hand from Marazza around. Something we don't see very often is Lion on the back foot. Not at all. Yes! This is very impressive from Abu Faz. Abu Faz still speaking to Lion each time. Telling him to bring it. With the right hand over the top by Marazaran. Steps in left hook. Lion, mouth wide open, potentially can't breathe through that nose. End of round number one here on Thai Fight.
first run it was from Lion Wapailin and Abulfaz Mezaran. I mean, just constant attacking. I, I gotta say, it was pretty sloppy, but. Was I, at times. I haven't seen Lion struggle this much in a long time. And you know what? Just because of what we saw, I'm giving the first round to Abulfaz. I'm tempted to, but I do think the better technique did actually come from Lion. I know that Marazaran did push forward, but I feel like the majority of the shots that he did strike with were actually head clashes. And I feel like the better technique might have come from Lion. But either way, I can see from your point of view, no qualms at all if the judges have given it to Marazaran. But it is a war, and it's because of Marazaran that it is a war. And give me grief for that. Look at that. And someone Ooh. tells me he's about to get even more heated up. What about the fans watching around the world? How did you score that first round? Did you see Lion taking it, or do you think Marazaran took that one? Yeah, All right. wrong. As I said, I'm not, a, I'm not a judge. No, neither am I. Just enjoying the fights. Here we go, round number two. Lion in the black corner and Marazaran in the white. Marazaran on the back foot already. And taking it to Lion. Lion with a big elbow. Lion coming through. I mean, Marazaran coming through for the kill. Big knees there from Marazaran. Marazaran is an absolute warrior, really is. Yeah, he could go on for three rounds. I mean, he has such an engine on him. Doing this to Deng Deng and now to Lion. Incredible. Haunting Lion, oh. Trying to go for the team to the face now. Runs around on the back foot, waiting for the right timing. One, two, there to the counter from Lion. He doesn't let Lion set. Oh, big elbow. How does he take these shots? I don't understand it at all. Oh, big left hand there. Right Who's holding on? That was a massive left hand by Lion. Holding Still, on for dear yeah, life. Yeah, he was. He walked straight into that powerful left hand. That probably would have dropped the majority of Lion's opponents. Yeah, we've seen it before, but I mean, is just another animal. I mean, look at him in the ring right now. Taking his big shot from Lion. Lion going to the body, but Marazaran still going for him. Another elbow there from Lion, who's covering up. Yeah, good block there from Lion. Left hand actually connected from Marazaran. Looked like he was in trouble for just a moment, but seems to have rocked Lion as well. Now Marazaran on the ropes where he really needs to be pushing forward. Oh, oh my goodness. Lion on the back foot. Marazaran pushing forward. I don't know if he's got anything left in the tank, and I don't know if Lion has either. Oh, does he? Big knees here by Marazaran. Lion is groggy. Lion is groggy, but he connects with uppercut elbow, which stuns. Marazaran just for a moment. Another elbow connects for Lion. Oh, this is going to be about who has more to tank at the end. I mean, both of them are juice. They're still competing. That's many back elbow by Lion. Where did that come from? Out of nowhere, spinning back elbow from Lion. Another elbow connects. Razor going to the body. Razor is hurt. Lion not approaching his opponent that right there. Both corners screaming. The fight is to push on. Madness! Second round that was between Lion and Marazaran. Big elbow from Lion, but that doesn't show at all. I mean, it was really good fight, back and back and forth. It really was. Big moment in the fight, in the round, sorry, that was for Marazaran knocking back Lion. I'll tell you what, that's the first time I think I've seen Lion really stunned. Taking it. You know, 
Again, another round where you could have scored it either way. Both had big moments in that fight. Both had moments where you think, thought it was the beginning, beginning of the end, but both managed to survive the round. It was a spinning back fist, almost connecting. And both taking deep, deep breaths as we go into the third and final round. Third and potential final round here. Yeah. Because remember, if it does, good point, Kevin. If it is scored a draw, we do have a fourth round for this one. Lion in the black corner, Abu Faz Marazaran in the white. Here we go, round number three. You might have to call the five remaining fights, Kevin. My voice is about to go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Third and final round, potentially. Right hand again there from Lion. Has got one of the best chins I've ever seen in the sport of Muay Thai. It is unbelievable. Hard Chirk is relentless, relenting, damages careers. Somehow, Abu Faso Morazaran is able. How does he take these big shots? Big shots by Lion. And now Morazaran fighting back, both of them with the clinch, and Lion tossing his opponent. Almost going out of the ring, but glad the ropes were there once again. One two there from Razoran. Go for one two again. Oh, Elbow. Razoran starting to breathe. I'm not sure where Nongo. Excuse me, not Nongo. Lion. Where does he find this power from? Razoran still swinging. Oh, another big elbow. Still, he refuses to go down. I don't know if Lion can believe it. Another right hand there from Razoran. Another elbow. Left hook. Lion can't believe it, I can't believe it, the fans can't believe it. How is Abulfaz still on his feet? What are these two made of? That's Maraz, he's taking a short breather. You can't do that in the middle of the match. Another right hand there, big right hand from Maraz, right? Body shot, swing it left hand, right hand to the body. Maraz, right, right, emptied his gas tank right now, but still, like Jake Lamar refuses to go down. And he's in the corner once again. Referee needs to give a count. What's oh. going on here? He's lost his mouth guard. Has he lost some teeth? That is the mouth guard, not the teeth. <laughs> Thank goodness. But you know how it is. If you lose your mouth guard, it'd be that's, that's not going to look good for you to judge your scorecards whatsoever. We might have to remake this fight into a movie. Reaching ball two. Live fight. Another right hand there for Morazaran. Morazaran now on the front foot. Good left hook by Lion. Lion oh, on the left elbow. Go, go. Left hand. Second win. Lion. Big left hook. And finally. Finally. He oh, goes down. Oh, no. Referee has no choice but to count. If he got up quickly, the referee would have counted, but referee Pukit had no choice. He took his time, ladies and gentlemen. You're witnessing. One of the greatest card jerk battles in the history of this sport. This is a war, not even a fight. Oh, it is a war. Marazaran is no! Oh no! my goodness. No, that is That's no! it. All over. That is it. That is it, Lion. What a fight. Spray blood from his mouth. The fans are on their feet. We stand the Lion was a potential future superstar. What was that? A thumbs up, blood pouring from his mouth. My goodness. That's unbelievable. One of the best tie fight bouts I've ever seen. It is incredible. Lion, Warp Highland, Abulfaz, Merazaran, take a bow. Lion is a star. show the whole fight again. A big hand that would have probably knocked out a rhino. Big swinging forearm there by Lion. I mean, Marazaran took everything in that fight. The stretcher is not out. He is back on his feet. This is unbelievable. Let's see the finishing blow here. Oh my goodness. And he was still on his feet there. Still throwing, still throwing right to the very end. But the power of Lion, 
the pride of Thailand in front of those seven kings. Energizing. Lion and down went Marazaran and down he stayed. That was absolutely epic. My goodness. And you get action just like this only on Thai fight. Congratulations that man right there. Congratulations to that man right there. Congratulations to me and you. Congratulations. ครับโอ้โหคู่นี้เนี่ยเคยขึ้นไทยไฟมาแล้วครับบอกเลยว่าเราจะไม่เห็นเค้าเหนื่อยหนักขนาดนี้มาก่อนจริงฮะนะไม
This has the potential to be another fantastic fight here on Thai Fight. But introducing first in the white corner, Bastian Angulo. Mr. Bastian Leonardo Angulo Ache. 28 years of age from Santiago in Chile. Standing at 167 centimeters. He has a professional record of 42 fights, 28 victories, 14 losses, no draws. One of those victories came in Thai fight where he was able to knock out Kunsuk Lek. Yeah, that was very impressive from Bastian. He knocked him out in Patumtani. And there you see Bastian's opponent right there in the black corner. He goes by the name of Kiopit Kiet Prison. His real name is Titnan Chai Siprang. 22 years of age, 177 meters tall from Drang Province in the south of Thailand. He has a total of 76 fights, 64 victories, 10 losses and 2 draws. And he is the Thai Fight League champion at 61 kilograms. Of course, a big fan base for Kiel Pet here. I have a lot of military men here and Kiel Pet is serving his time in the military right now. Yeah, just, just for people watching around the world, if you grow up in Thailand, like yourself, you do actually do military service. You do. Two years, is, is that correct? Two years if you're actually drafted into the main army, but if you do the student reserve, then you uh, do it for about three years, but um, mainly on your ho holidays. And the referee in charge here is Tawon Yang Ubon. Judges ringside of Phuket Prampayun. Sanong Uam Im and Seema Tipkiri. Looking forward to this one because Kiel Pet, now that he's become a Thai Fight League champion, we need to see what he can do against some of the top fighters from around the world. And Bastian Angulo is exactly just that. It's a fantastic test for him, it really is. It's great to see Bastian Angulo back. Came to Thai Fight, of course. Knocked out Kunsu. Oh! oh knocked him out! Goodness. Just didn't see that! The Chilean rot tank doing what he does best. He has got dynamite in his hands. And I think Kiel Pen learned that very fast. He doesn't want to trade blows against Bastion now. Another big right hand from Bastion. Bastion trying to go for the knees. Big high kick from Kiel Pen just missing. I have to say, the standard of foreign Muay Thai is so at an all time high. It really is. When I first started in Thai fight, almost 10 years ago now, it's always going to be tight, the fights have win. Yeah. Fight have won. Not much competition, I'm being honest, by way of the, of the foreign opponents, but now, they're just getting better and better and better. It's incredible. Good hands again, there, from Angulo. It just shows how Muay Thai has spread Absolutely. so far around the world. And that's what it needs to be for it to grow. Or now, Bastion, Bastion looking for that right hand, just missing it. Pet on the back foot. Oh, good left knee there by Kio Pet. He's shown respect to the hands now of Angulo. Perhaps a little bit too much respect. That's going to again with lots and rights. Yeah, well, it was never going to be an easy time for Kio Pet in this matchup. It's never an easy time for anybody against Bastion yeah. Angulo. He really suits the style of Boy Thai. Yeah, he does. That stocky frame. Course, heavy hands. Heavy hands. Big elbow shot there. Once again, you can see your pet just looking underneath. Doesn't want any of that power. Now that he's tasted it. And there is a cut. Blood flowing down the face. It was delayed, but the blood has started to flow from that elbow by Kill Pet. Yeah, it could have been anything, but the blood is flowing really? a lot. Just dripping in the ring. My goodness. This is where I take a step back now. Yep. Oh, again with those elbow strikes. Yeah, the counter elbow working very well for Gilpin. Every single time Bastion gets close, tries to attack, the counter elbow comes through from Gilpin. Beautiful, Gilpen. beautiful. Low kicks that cut there. Left hand from Gilpin connects very well. Bastion taking a step back. Another big elbow from Gilpin. Gilpin now in the driver's seat. Kicks to the body. Another elbow to the head. Angulo a little bit flustered.
let's have a look at the highlights. There was that overhand right to start the proceedings for Bastin Angulo. It was a warning shot, a big, disgusting warning shot for Kiopet. He took it well, but from there on out, he realized he had to stay away from the hands of Bastian, and he counter struck so beautiful. Oh my goodness. You see the blood spraying there? Like a from, knife. Oof, from the forehead of Bastian Angulo. Yeah, don't mess with the elbows. Question is, for those watching around the world, the folk of, of the fans on Tie Fight League will know that just because there's a knockdown, it doesn't necessarily Yeah, but it's a it would be a 10-9, but he wasn't counted. But he, but he wasn't counted. So it is possible, very possible, and maybe even likely that Kiopet took that round. Yeah, I could agree with you more. Here we go, round number two. Low kicks there from Kiel Pitt and a return by Bastion. Another big low kick for Kiel Pitt. Kiel Pitt on the back foot once again. Bastion trying to follow through with the right hand. Kiel Pitt playing it safe here, playing it smart. Oh, he eats some hands that time. It's very difficult to avoid the ropes. You can't chew up Muay Thai, of course. You cannot cover up as much as you can with those gloves. Blood flowing. Must be two or three cuts on the head of Bastian Angulo. Again, another warrior on display here on Thai Fight. Yeah, I, I'm even scared just to get a shoulder or, or an elbow nudge from Kilpen. <laughs> oh, once again, blood spraying as an elbow is crushed into the top of the head of Bastian Angulo. Yeah, another big elbow from Kilpen. Another big right kick, and that hurt Bastian. That hurt Bastian. Another big right kick there for oh, Kiel the He's got to go back to the body, surely at some point. Bastion is hurt, there's no doubt about it. Oh, another right kick there! Fucking Bastion is doing sideways, and again! Five high kicks are plenty by Kiel Pet. Low kick! Another high kick there from Kiel Pet. Bastion trying to follow up with the right hand. This is low kick again from Kiel Pet. Kill Pet having to be on the ropes but attacking. Oh, and he's backing off! What is going on? Oh, another big head kick. Oh! Right hand! Right hand! And That's now goes Angulo! Oh my goodness, look at the state of Bastian Angulo! Look all over his face! Markings all over his body and his legs, but he's still up and he's standing and he's willing to continue. We're going to have. Doctor, yeah, the doctor's going to have a look now. Let's see if this fight can continue. Bastion, I'll tell you what, has had better days. Scott, it's so well for Bastion Angulo in this fight. Doctor says yes, and Good. the fight continues. It's Bastion Angulo now a borrowed time. Another right hand through the guard. Another right kick to the arm. What was initially a war between these two, in my opinion now in round number two has become a little bit more one-sided. Kiopet, Kiet Price on. 
in the black corner, taking it to Bastin Angulo and knocking him down in that second round, setting all the action up with kicks to the legs, to the body and to the head, switching levels with that beautiful time right kick, which yep. eventually opened up the guard of Bastian Angulo and then he came in with that right hand, knocking down Bastian. Yeah, let's be honest, we all thought it was going to be the right kick, so Kiel Penta was going to take Bastian Angulo down, but it wasn't to be, it was the right hand. Yeah, it's funny you say it. that because I was just thinking at the end of round number two, he stopped going to the ribs at the end of that second round with that right kick, looking to go upstairs. But I wonder if in this third round, he'll start. In the second round, there was a big issue for Bastion on that left side. All right, here we go. Third and final round, another incredible fight here on TIE Fight. It's been a great event at Roger Park Park so far. Ooh. Again, looking for that right hand through the card. Oh! Beautiful. Boy Baranas technique from Kilpin. You don't see that very often. No, you don't. Another fighter who has a lot of potential and is showing it here tonight is Kilpin. All the fans, like I said, who watch Thai Fight League will know all about this boy. For everyone else, you question mark in from Kilpin. Bastian Angulo, not sure where he is right now. Now he's just showing off. Now Kiel Penn is showing what Kiel Penn is all about. Seems to be having fun in there. But Bastian is surviving. But I'm sure Kiel Penn would like to put an exclamation mark on this fight. Here comes Bastian though, not giving up. Big, big heart from the Chileans. I'll tell you what, Kiel Penn being a little bit too careless at the moment. Tend to trade blows with Bastian and Gulo is not a good idea. And the thing we know and witness about Bastian Angulo, he does have that one big Hail Mary power. He definitely does. I mean, Kill Pet learned that very early yes, in this fight. Exactly. But once he realized that, it took it easy. He played his own game. Making the fight work in his favor. Oh my goodness! Jumping switch kick by the man of the boys who say no as Kill Pet. Yes, right, so The last time we saw that. Knockout kick came from Sanchai, and now Kielpet has showed us that maneuver. Absolutely spectacular from Kielpet. Kielpet, AKA Baby Sanchai. Another star born tonight on Thai Fight. What a spectacular 2023 and start to 2024 it has been for Kielpet, Kiat Bryson. Another. here on tie fight but he was just out good by the spectacular Kiopet. oh look at that slick i'll tell you what the boys from tie fight Question league mark, kick bang the boys from tie fight league have taken over this show <laughs> absolutely that's just how good tie fight league has been not letting it go of that clinch looking for that big knee but right at the end let's have a look at that jumping switch kick this is an elbow blocked Back to the ribs. Doesn't stop motoring. I think it's here. Looking down at the legs and then jumping up and going high. And that was it for Bastian. What a performance. Right, Kiopet, he had price on. Oh! Spectacular. Phenomenal. I've run out of words to say. No. Need a thesaurus here on ringside. But what we will say is that next up we've got Nong Ocha half -haya. อันบกมานะครับแน่นอนครับประกาศผู้ชนะเลยแล้วกันนะครับเดอะวินเนอร์คิวเป็นเกียรติไพรซอนบอมไซด์เลยยินดีด้วยนะครับทุกคนโอ
อยู่ในสังกัดของกองทัพบ,บกด้วยใช่แล้วนะ,นะแล้วก็ติดยศ10โคนะฮะหน้ามีเขาเป็นเพื่อนนะครับมีเพื่อนเราคงสบายใจนะครับเป็นนักมวยเก่งขนาดนี้จะไม่เป็นศัตรูเขาแน่ๆนะครับผมโอเคครับแล้วตอนนี้นะครับเอาเข้าสู่ข่าวในพระสัมภารกันก่อนนะครับกลับมามีอีกหลายคู่ได้ชมกันสักครู่เดียวครับเอาละครับกลับมานะครับก็สูตรไฮไฟคาเชื่ออุทยานราชพักนะครับผมตอนนี้พลังยังอยู่หรือเปล่าขอเสียงหน่อยชาวหัวหินไม่ได้ไม่ได้เบาไปเพราะว่าเบาไปเฮ้ยเบาไปเหรอนะเพราะว่านักกีฬาฟิตกว่านี้พิธีกรยังไม่หมดแรงถูกต้องหมดแรงงั้นต้องรีเช็คอีกทีเพื่อให้คนที่ดูอยู่ทั่วประเทศเขาได้รับพลังจากพวกเราหน่อยครับถูกต้องครับแน่นอนครับใครถือกระบองอยู่สีแดงขาวอีสุสุจูกันบ้าขอบคุณมากครับเยี่ยมมากขอบคุณมากครับสีฟ้านะใครมีกระบอกสีฟ้าไทยประกันชีวิตชูกันมาแล้วตกปืนได้ยอดเยี่ยมของทุกคนครับพลังยังไม่ตกดังนั้นแล้วคนบอกว่าถ้าผมไม่มีทํำยังไงตอนนี้พร้อมๆกันมีหรือไม่มีกระบอกยกมือขึ้นมาทุกคนโอเคฮึ่งเหิมขนาดนี้ดูมวยต่อได้ได้มาลุยกันต่อนะฮะคู่ต่อไปนะครับพิกัดน้ำหนักนะครับ69กิโลกรัมนะครับคนแรกยอดมวยจากบราซิลมีพลังเตะดูดค้อนทุบก็บอกงี้ขอเสียงต้อนรับจอมสัตว์แข้งนิตรอยเควินเปเรโลเควินเปเรโลจอมสัตว์แข้งจากนิตรอยประเทศบราซิลมุมันตั้งใจที่จะเข้าสู่สังเวียนแน่นอนนะขายยาวขนาดนี้พร้อมฟาดแข้งแล้วนะฮะเอาละครับนักชกคนแรกนะฮะจากบราซิลเริ่มที่คู่ท้าชิงแล้วครับคนเดียวครับนะฮะเมื่อมีคนเปิดศึกมันจะต้องมีคนปิดศึกนะฮะแต่ใครจะเป็นผู้ปิดที่จะได้รับชัยชนะกลับไปต้องถามคนคนนี้ครับเขาคือแชมป์ไทยไฟ2023รุ่น70กิโลกรัมคนล่าสุดรบมือดังต้อนรับกับคุณศึกเมืองพยาวนกโอชอหาพยาคมานกโอชอหาพยาคุณศึกเมืองพยาวประเทศไทยไปบอยส์และเกิร์ลส์ในช่วงเวลาหยุดพักกันเราก็กลับมาที่ทายไฟและเราไปต่อกันที่การแข่งขันของวันที่6ของวันนี้ความแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการแข่งขันในการ Of course, on the big Thai fight, my goodness, what a show they have witnessed so far, and what a show you have witnessed watching around the world 
on the TIE Fight International YouTube channel. Please, if you're watching for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. We're here every Sunday, whether it be the big TIE Fight or indeed TIE Fight League. Introducing first in the white corner, Kevin Pereira, 24 years of age from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Stands at 175 centimeters and has a professional record, a very good professional record of 65 fights, 60 victories with just five losses. And there is his opponent in the black corner, Nong Oh Shaw Hapayak. His real name is Adison Jit Kam Koon, 23 years of age, 174 centimeters tall from Payao province in the northern part of Thailand. He has a total of 243 fights, 192 victories, 41 losses and 10 draws. He was the Thai fight champion of 2023 at 70 kilograms. And yes, if people are watching around the world and new to watching Thai fight, there is more than one Nong O. There is a Nong O in another organization and there is an, a Nong O that belongs to Thai fight. And there he stands, as Kevin likes to call him, the Thai Brock Lesnar. That's right. The next big thing. In his debut the same time as Vero here on Thai Fight. Thai Fight Lampang. Big height difference here between Nong O and, and Kevin Pereira. Big right hand there from Nong O. Nong O with another right hand and a kick to the body. Oh, and a left hook as well. The last two performances from Nong O were spectacular. A lot more technical things they've been working on have really started to pay off for him. Another left hook there. And one of us goes big. Utilizing body strikes like he did. Nongo's already cut. Oh just my to the goodness. Left eye. That came very early. No oh. right hand there from Nongo. Nongo head hunting early on. Right hand again from Nongo, clinching up against Pereira now. He's big for Pereira. And the cut is in an awful position. It is, and he's flowing down the face. You can already see the blood dripping onto that body of Nongo. Nice. Low block there from Kevin Pereira. Blood irritating Nongo. He's wiping it away from his face. Low kick there by the Brazilian. Nongo a little bit apprehensive now. And yeah, Nongo thinking twice before moving forward against Kevin Pereira. Once again, Ed Hunting walking into trouble. Corner of Kevin Pereira. Boy, by what they've seen already here in round number one. Now something tells me the clinch game is just not going to work for Nongo. Kevin Pereira's length and height. Easy for him to get an Ian. Nongo going down to the leg there. Another right hand by Kevin Pereira. Slow kick. Right hands coming in by Nongo, but equally matched with right hands by Kevin Pereira. That was better by Nongo. Nongo slowly pushing forward again. He's just headhunting at this point. I mean, he, he really needs to set up his shots. We were talking about this, weren't we? Well, Nongo. we talk about it every single big time <laughs> fight, if I'm honest. Well, the last two, we've seen some improvements, but yeah, we've previous to that. Nongo constantly looking for one shot, big right hand. Yeah, Left hook. Kicks. Good kick to the body, though, from Nongo. Set up that hook to the head very nicely. Most of the success that we've seen has actually come from when he's gone down to the body, but seldom does he use those strikes. Side kick there by Nongo. Eric Pereira, a good posture, stands up really well. That makes it difficult, just like that, for Nongo to connect to the head. Body shot connects though, and again! That's good hook to the head there from Nongo. Nongo again with the hook to the head. And Kevin Pereira decides to clinch up. And why not? I mean, that's one way to get out of trouble. See though, we were talking about the previous fighter in the line fight, Marazaran having a good chin. Looks like Kevin Pereira has one as well. He's been tested already here in round number one. Oh, good left hand. Nice job by Nongo. Another right, two rights indeed, but Kevin Pereira with a counter strike. End of round number one here on Thai Fight.
Yak, Thailand in the black corner, and Kevin Pereira in the white. Good elbow there. That, that's probably yeah. the shot that cut Nong O early on. But as the fight went on, I thought Nong O really took control of that one. You know, sometimes you see fighters who have this tall, lanky range, but they don't know how to use it. Kevin's not one of those fighters. He fought very well and using that height. And that, an example of that was that elbow strike. Yeah, and he's just so composed. That's how he's managed to catch Nong O a couple of times. But Nong O kept moving forward and caught his opponents a couple of times. I believe more times than Kevin Burr actually caught Nong O. So that's why I'm going to give the first round to Nong O, but I'm not a judge. Please. Pereira out just yet. And quite honestly, I don't think we've seen the best of Kevin Pereira just yet. We might see it in this second Hi. round. Here we go, round number two. Is Nongo going to continue to head on? Are we going to start to see more body shots? That could potentially set up more headshots. We'll start here from Kevin. Oh, a little bit low, but that's not illegal. As we said time and time again. Yep. Good strike to the body there from Nongo. Nongo going low again. Oh, good left hook there from Nongo. Kevin being more aggressive in round number two. Yeah, I think when Kevin Pereira, or when Nongo, excuse me, faces someone with the length of Kevin Pereira, he needs to start going to the legs and to the body as well. That was a nice combination there by Nongo. Left hook, right kick to the body. And again, with those body kicks, much better from Nongo. Yeah, much, much better from Nongo. I don't think he has much of a choice. Yeah, true. To be honest. But we have seen in the past, even though he does have choices, he's choosing the wrong option. Whereas now, Getting more well rounded. Kick to the body from Nong O connecting. Kevin Pereira pushes forward. Yep. Oh, more blood flowing. Kevin Pereira connects through that cut. And again. More good shots from Kevin Pereira, even on the back foot. And yeah, we've seen it many times the tie fight league with a lot of lanky fighters, tall fighters, don't know how to use their reach. But Kevin Pereira oh! goes He's back to his feet. Nongo in the ascendancy. And now Nongo going to look for the finish. Big right hands coming in, an elbow from Kevin oh. Pereira. Kevin Pereira with the elbow at the back of the head. More so, Nongo's ball for turning his, his head to Kevin Pereira. Good down. left. This job of Nongo is setting up those right hands. That's just making Nongo, Nongo more of a complete fighter when he sets up his punches with that jab. So much blood coming in from Nongo now. Oh, good right hand though from Kevin Pereira. Nongo looking for that jab once again. There's that right hook. Oh, he's swinging again and he gets clipped. And I believe Nongo is bleeding on the ear now from that elbow caused by Kevin Pereira. And you can see why Kevin Pereira has such a good record. 16 wins from 65 fights. He is no slouch, boys and girls. No, he's no slouch whatsoever. Oh. He's coming in for the flying knee and connects. Nongo now all caught up on the ropes. I'm telling you, it would be a very different round if Kevin Pereira was not counted. There's that jab. Setting up the jab very well, Dong O. Oh, and it sets it up again. And once again, Pereira is down for the second time. And that's it. He shakes his head. He is out for the count. He's caught him and he's screaming at him to get back up. And he so he want, does. He, he didn't want any more of that. But his corner man told him so and the referee did not let the fight continue. It is a KO victory in the second round for Nong O Shohapayak. That is why you jab, ladies and gentlemen, setting up those big right hands. And Nong O does possess the power. And once he connects, it is lights out. Congratulations. Another war here on Thai Fight. More blood. Let's have a look how Nong How does it. Started the round relatively well. Actually, Kevin Pereira did as well, but there was the setting up that right hand. That was the first that knockdown. That was the first knockdown. Good head movement from Nongo, and then it caught him with that right. Oh, did well to get up from that. I think there was a hint of a smile there from <laughs> Nongo when he connected with that right hand. And I think this was the finishing one. Oh, perfect. Kevin looking up to the stars, shaking his head to the referee.
He didn't want any of it, of course. His cornerman was desperate for him to get back to his feet, but the referee did exactly what he needed to do and he stopped the fight. Kevin Pereira did not want any more. Another incredible epic fight here on Thai Fight. Stay with us, fight number seven. What a chance! เชียร์นะสังเวียนเลือดทางตัวจริงนะฮะเลือดอัดในยกแรกนะฮะแต่ตอนสุดท้ายนะฮะก็พลิกเกมจนได้นะครับประกาศผู้ชนะครับเดอ
at 182 centimeters. Has a professional record of 60 fights with 45 victories, 15 losses and no draws. He did compete on Thai Fight League in December where he went the distance with a fighter by the name of Dao Pre. Unfortunately for him, Dao Pre got the victory, but he put in such a great performance that we have invited him back to compete on the big Thai Fight Show right here tonight. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the black corner, he goes by the name of Warok Chaklek, Get Chat Chai. His real name is Prachakon. Dui Kyo, 20 years of age, 178 centimeters tall from Gampang Pet Province. His total of 79 fights, 54 victories, 24 losses, and one draw. So, of course, Warok Chaklek, he is scheduled to compete this month on the 25th in. Korat tie fight, another big tie fight this month. He's be, he'll be taking on Kitty Sack. <laughs> yeah, the fan favorite That's of right. the tie fight league viewers. Kitty Sack will be in action against Warajak Lek as long as he doesn't get knocked out here. That's tonight. right. I don't want to say it, but I'm saying it. <laughs> we have been cursed with that before. <laughs> but let's see what happens here. Keeps the body by Warajak Lek. Warajak Lek on the back foot to begin. Hands there by Warajak Lek, inside kick, nice right hand. And here he comes, Mohamed Mahdi on the attack. Yeah, some big solid strikes already from Mohamed Mahdi. Looking for the knockout early on. Back to the legs goes Warajak Lek. And again. Oh, good left hook there by Mahdi. Almost caught the referee there. <laughs> Spinning back kick to the body, attempted by Warren Jackley. And referee Arun managed to get out of the way. Well done to him. Even at his age, Aaron. <laughs> Mardi, eyes laser focused on Warren Jackley. Warren Jackley pushes forward into the clinch. Nothing doing. Yeah, back to the legs. Yeah, well, Mohammed Mahdi is doing. Very good job so far is blocking the low kicks. Quite sound defensively. Well, I like the way I really do the warrior jack like he's targeting the legs of Mohamed Mahdi. Frustrating the Iranian. Good clinch, good knees there by the Iranian. Three in a row. Low kick connects for more jack leg. Oh. Yeah, the back foot too much, but that body shot hurt Mohamed Mahdi. And again, back to the body. Yeah, it's fair to say, Muay Thai, once you see a weakness in your opponent, people tend to go for that weak spot. Absolutely, it's your job to exploit it. And I believe Mohamed Mahdi has been exploited at that body. Or Chuck Lake, you can see his eyes just tuned in on the body, waiting for an opening. Yeah, you can see the uh, five now, also red. Those low kicks, good combination there by Warren Jack Lech. Again, finishing off with a shot to the body. Some deep breaths now from Mardi. Swinging. Again, Warren Jack Lech moving out of the way for the majority of those strikes. Yeah, moving a bit too much, some people may say. Oh, big lick. Left kick there. Mardi takes it well though, delivers a right kick of his own to a body of the body. Rorjak Lek with a spinning back fist. That hits nobody. <laughs> oh, low kicks are plenty from Rorjak Lek. Beginning of the end. Knee to the head as Mohamed Mardi goes down and I believe it's all over. His legs have completely been taken away by Rorjak Lek. And that is it. We will see Rorjak Lek get Chachai take on Kitty Sack on the 25th of this month. Congratulations to World Chuck Lake. And I was praising Mohamed Mahdi for how well he managed to block the low kicks. But at the end, it wasn't to be. A beautiful display by Warren Jack Lake. You were talking about how you need to exploit the weaknesses when you find them in your opponent. And boy, he went to the body. And that was just setting up those leg attacks. And finally, Mohamed Mahdi went down. And unfortunately, he's still in the ring. Mohamed Mahdi, let's have a look at Warajak leg did that. You can see the leg buckles. 
I mean, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. You can see at the beginning of the round, furious kicks to the legs by Warajak Leg. All throughout that round. And Mami Bani, he just did block run. And you pay the price when you don't block leg kicks, as you know, in the world of Muay Thai. And he just showed that he was in tremendous pain once he received those leg kicks. And that's just a green light for Warajak Leg to go in for the kill. All right, boys and girls, coming up next, PTT will be taking on Chalamdam in an all-Thai war here in our eighth bout. And then in the main event, Sanchai returns here on Thai fight. But once again, what, congratulations to Warajak Lek. We will be seeing you later on the 25th of February, I believe, in the final of the Thai fight league tournament. The first one of us, right? Daiga! Warajak Lek, Kiet Chanchai from Thailand! ยินดีครับคุณชนะด้วยครับเอาล่ะครับความมันยังรออยู่นะฮะเดี๋ยวกลับมาเจอกันครับกับไทยไฟนะฮะอุทยานราชภัฒน์ครับผมสักครู่เ
pink hair versus pink Moncon. The eighth bout of the evening here on what has been a sensational Thai fight. And there you can see the seven kings in the background looking on in amazement and wonder, I'm sure. This is a super fight. With a one kilogram weight difference, or weight advantage, 68 versus 69 kilograms. In the white corner from Thailand. Again, folks who have been watching and paying attention to Thai Fight League will recognize this one. This face is Chalam Dam, TBM Jim. 25 years of age from Satun province here in Thailand. He stands at 176 centimeters, has a professional record of 85 fights, 70 victories, 14 losses. One of those losses coming last time out here on Thai Fight against Nong Oh, and one draw. He did go the distance though, should be noted with Nong Oh, which yeah, is we impressive in itself. And we believe that we actually took a round. Yeah, very true. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the black corner. He goes by the name of Bodotor Abishat Farm, or formerly known as Bodotor Vorutjirat Wong. His real name is Wanchalum Fang Dan Klang. 26 years of age, around 78 centimeters tall, from Chonburi province in the eastern part of Thailand. He has a total of 171 fights, 140 victories, 30 losses, and one draw. He's a multiple time Thai fight champion, and he was also the Isusu Cup tournament champion. He was a 26 Isuzu Cup tournament champion. Yeah, of course, how it goes is if you do win the Isuzu Cup, then you are invited to compete, or this is once upon a time, compete here on Thai Fight against a opponent picked by the Thai Fight team. In that case, it was a fighter by the name of Payak Samui and in Karat, where we will be going uh, later this month, it was PTT who defeated Pike Samui to become a full-time member of the Thai fight team. I think, I believe that was back in 2016, I want to say. All right, so here we go. The eighth bout of nine bouts this evening. We haven't been to a decision yet. The judges are sleeping. <laughs> in the white corner from Thailand, Chalam Dam, TBM Jim. And in the black corner is PTT Abachat Farm. And the referee in charge for this one is Pukit Brampriyun. Judge ringside, Tuan Ingobon, Patanan, Pong Sapan, and Arun Kumutachat. And here we go, round number one in this all tie affair. And PTT already pushing forward. Oh, good uppercut. Oh, but he got clipped with a right hand. He has been eating some big right hands lately, has PTT. Yeah, he has. I mean, he's told me. Backstage, he's been working more on his defense, but he's still going all offense on Chalam Dam at the moment. Chalam Dam trying to fight back, trying to fight fire with fire. Who's frequency, lose control right now. Lots of attacking prowess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say though, PTT might want to avoid the clinch on Chalam Dam because we know how dangerous Chalam Dam can be inside the clinch. Look at Chalam Dam moving forward here. Happy to eat those shots, it seems. But that's what a boy cow does, or a clinch and knee fighter. They love to go forward. They take punishment in order to get a good position in the clinch. And that's what we're seeing from Shalandam at the moment. Nice jabs. Good uppercut. One, two combination. Edge. Shalandam rolls in a right hand. Swinging shots in from Shalandam. Just looking to survive right now. Yeah, trying to maintain his balance by holding on to PTT. His base is already backed up from all these shots that PTT has been throwing. But he's not out of there just yet. As he tries to counter with one, two strikes of his own. Not Back sure up. what his game plan is though, Sam Dab. Oh! And that's an elbow from PTT. It was certainly coming. Shalam Dam was just taking way too many shots and he finally got caught with a big elbow. PTT in the mood here tonight. Looking for that uppercut strike through the guard. Here's another right hand, big right hand again from Chalam Dam, and again! But he's in the corner, a very dangerous place to be against someone like PTT. PTT for sure smells blood in the water at the moment. Chalam Dam pushes the ref out of the way, and then walks, oh! PTT 
Kazima down he goes for the second time in this round. Just goes to show how good PTT is. I mean, this is someone who went the distance against Nong O. He got oh, forward again. Another right hand. Knocking Chalam down and the referee down. And the pink Thai torturer. PTT wins again here on Thai fight. And even the doctor has got pink gloves. <laughs> what a nice friend. But nevertheless, too easy for PTT. This and you know, after his last performance against Alessio Malatesta, and we, we, we questioned the decision, we said, didn't we, he had to come out and he had to make a statement here tonight, and that he did. Unfortunately for Chalam Dam, PTT on fire here, and he wins by a first round knockout. Yeah, that was very impressive from PTT. I mean, we're questioning where he was at after the last bout, but certainly made a statement this match here. This was the initial knockdown, beautifully timed elbow within that clinch. Shalamdam unable to stay on his feet, understandably from that. Setting up, shots through the body with that jab, and then that right hand just through the guard. Shalamdam unable to stay on his feet for a second time. And then, this is the end. More shots through the body, opening up the guard. Big right hand, the legs have completely gone. And the referee doesn't let Chalamdam get to his feet. And there was, I agree, there was no need, no need at all for it to continue. Job well done for PTT. And based on this, we might be seeing him again in a few weeks in Korai for the next big scheduled Thai fight. Next up, Sanchai returns to Thai fight. Stay with us. ใช่แล้วก็เลือกต่อยได้แม่นมากครับกลับมานะฮะกับไทยไฟท์คาเชอร์อุทยานราชภัฏครับผมครับผมอยู่กับเป๊กเดียวเดอะดราก้อนนี่เราใจตรงกันเลยคิ้วโซคิ้วน
จัดโดย CMG China Media Group เนี่ยแหละครับซึ่งเป็นสื่อหลักของประเทศจีนเลยครับรายเอียนเป็นยังไงต้องคุณเป็นเก่าแล้วยิ่งใหญ่ยาวนานซะด้วยแชมป์คนเดียวฮะเขาบอกว่างานฉลองตุ๊จีนนี่นะฮะมีประวัติศาสตร์ยาวนานถึง40ปีมาแล้วนะฮะและได้รอมและได้การยอมรับนะฮะจาก Guinness World Record ด้วยนะเป็นรายการทีวีนะครับที่มีคนดูมากที่สุดทั่วโลกนะฮะโดยปีนี้ทาง CMG นะตั้งใจจัดงานให้แบบภาพและเสียงสุดอลังการให้กับผู้ชมทั่วโลกอย่างแน่นอนนะครับแล้วก็การแสดงมีมากมากมายหลากหลายนะครับทั้งร้องเพลงนะฮะด้านรำหรือว่าโอเปร่าก็มีนะฮะจากศิลปินชื่อดังชาวจีนด้วยมาสร้างความสุขให้กับทุกคนในช่วงตุลาคมแน่นอนครับถูกต้องนะครับซึ่งทางประเทศจีนก็จัดอย่างยิ่งใหญ่ในทุกปีอยู่แล้วแต่ปีนี้ใหญ่กว่าที่เคยแน่นอนครับถ้าอยากติดตามชมทําอย่างไรครับฟังดีๆนะครับทุกคนครับเราจะมีการถ่ายทอดสดไปทั่วโลกนะครับจากประเทศจีนเลยคือวันที่9กุมภาพันธ์เวลา2ทุ่มตรงนะครับตามเวลาท้องถิ่นในประเทศจีนนะครับแต่ถ้าคุณผู้ชมที่อยู่เมืองไทยอยากรับชมสามารถเปิดช่อง CCTV Inter นะฮะช่อง CCTV Inter นะครับในเวลา1ทุ่มตรงได้เลยครับตามเวลาประเทศไทยนะครับนี่คืองานการลาดระดับโลกนะครับไม่ว่าคุณอยู่ที่ไหนคุณสามารถชมแล้วก็เฉลิมฉลองกับปีมังกรไปพร้อมๆกันครับโอเคข่าวสารดีๆจากเป็กเดี่ยวเดรากอนครับ <coughs> อ่ะเอาละครับแน่นอนว่าตอนนี้ถึงคู่สุดท้ายแล้วโคตรมวยแสนชัยนะฮะอยู่หลังเวทีเราขอเสียงหน่อยแล้วใครเป็นแฟนเอฟซีพี่แสนชัยบ้างผมบอกกันเลยนะครับว่าพี่แสนชัยเนี่ยนะครับไม่ได้ชกมาประมาณ 4-5 ถึงไฟแล้วใช่แล้วนะเพราะว่าอาการบาดเจ็บอาการบาดเจ็บแต่วันนี้ยังไงก็ต้องขึ้นพี่แสนบอกมาที่ทันทีต้องขึ้นแล้วครับใช่แล้วนะฮะกลับขึ้นสู่สังเวียนแล้วนะครับแต่ก่อนนะฮะเดี๋ยวไปเจอพี่แสนชัยนะครับเราเจอคู่ท้าชิงเขาก่อนนะครับเอาละครับคนนี้นะฮะเป็นยอดมวยจากทูเคียทูเคียมาจากไหนก็ไม่รู้นะฮะผู้มาพร้อมกับความโหดดิบเดือดขอเสียงต้อนรับนะ The b r u c e m a n อเดมครับบักอเดมคาบัก The b r u t a l m a n ประเทศทูเคียอาเดมคาบักนะจากทรูเคียอ๋อจําได้แล้วก็คือทรูเคียเองเปลี่ยนเป็นทรูเคียใช่แต่ก็ซึ่งผมไปสำเนียงผมไปวันนั้นพอดีเลยนะวันที่เขาเปลี่ยนชื่อผมก็ลืมไปว่าอ๋อทรูเคียตอนนี้เป็นทรูเคียแล้วนะครับผมผมอ่าแล้วครับขึ้นสู่สังเวียงแล้วกับอาเดมคาบักนะครับและแน่นอนนะครับถึงแม้ว่าเราจะมีหมวกน่ารักน่ารักแบบนี้แต่การประกาศคู่มวยของเรานะครับจะขอดุดันเหมือนเดิมมากครับผมและนี่คือแมททุกคนรอคอยนะครับกับผู้ชายคนนี้รีราผิวไหวดุดผีเสื้อโอ้โหบนสังเวียนบินและนี่คือโคตรมวยแห่งสยามปรบมือดักต้อนรับเสียชัยพีเกเสียชัยมวยไทยเจมส์แดนชัยพีเกแดนชัยมวยไทยยิมโคตรมวยแห่งสยามประเทศไทยเสียงอินแขนดังแววแสนใช่มาแล้วละนาจากเด็กน้อยแดนอีสานเป็นแรงใจได้รับการฝึกฝนสู้อดทนทั้งกายใจสมญานามว่าแสนชัยคือเด็กไทยหัวใจมุ่ยพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมพีเคแสนชัยมวยไทยยิมจากดินแดนท้องถิ่น
ที่สารฝากไว้เป็นตำนานขอฝากไว้เป็นตำนานให้เขารู้กันนี่คือมวยไทยดังพองไปแดนไกลไม่สิน้นใครได้ยินเขาต้องสยบเมื่อได้พบพบกับมวยไทยโอ้ยละว่าคนงามจังมาละโอ้ยคนงามอายสิตามใจเจ้าไปนำสิได้บอสิได้บอสิไปถามจอจอคือบอละที่ว่าจังใดอายมีใจหักมันสวัสดีครับผมอ s ปอ u l a r as ever, Sanchai, PK Sanchai, Muay Thai Jim. However, introducing first his opponent in this super fight at 68 kilograms, Adam Kabak, 37 years of age, born in i g d i a in Turkey, standing at 171 centimeters. He has a professional record, a nice professional record. In fact, 42 fights, 37 victories, just five losses. With zero draws, currently training at the Venom Training Center in Pattaya. And now, time to introduce his opponent, fighting out of the black corner. There you see, doing his Y crew, the legend Sanchai PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. His real name is Superchai Sanpong. 43 years of age, 163 centimeters tall, from Maha s a l a k a m Province in the northeastern part of Thailand. He has a total of 383 fights, 331 victories, 50 losses, and two draws. He is a multiple-time Thai fight champion, a multiple-time Lupini Stadium champion, and he was voted the Sports Ride Association of Thailand Fighter of the Year two times. A man who has accomplished so much in his Muay Thai career, even beating two people one night. Yeah, s e g a t d a o and p e t b u n c h u p e t b u n c h u incredible. And for those that don't know, both of them are very big names in the Muay Thai world. I think it was was it two rounds for one and three rounds for the other. Yep, that's yeah. right. At Lumpini, at the old Lumpini Stadium, the original Lumpini Stadium. The original Stadium. Lumpini Stadium. Well put. So we're here located in Hua Hin, a great place. For all people watching around the world to come and visit, if you do ever come to Thailand, coastal town or city, you can actually go h a w k s p a r k riding on the beach. Beautiful golf courses, chill on the beach, good restaurants, great food, and for one night only, we have Sanchai in attendance here at Rajapak Park. We're being hosted by the Thai military. In this park, and that's what you can hear now. All the fans, all the boys, the army, are giving props to the legend that is Sanchai. Yeah, and it's good timing as well. This Thai fight event, because of course on Tuesday, 6 of February, it's going to be Muay Thai Day, where you'll see the largest Y crew in the world. Yep, in the Guinness Book of Record as well. I think that started last year, correct? Yep, and, and it's going to be bigger this year. Nice. All right. It's the main event of the evening here on Thai Fight. As my voice starts to go, <laughs> what a spectacular event it has been! In the white corner from Turkey, we have Adem Kabak, and in the black corner we have Sanchai PK Sanchai Muay Thai Jim. And the judges and the referee, excuse me, for this one is Sema Tip Kiri. Judges ringside are Pukit Pram Prayun. We have Sonong Om Im and Arun k u m u t a s h a t and. The president of the judges and referees here on Thai Fight is Dr. So Wang. w h a t h e happy talk? So so far, first bout, classic. 
wins by a round two KO. Yunus Benali, round two KO. Vero fought Ruggiero Wong, round one KO. Lion, round three KO. Hulpet, round three. Nongo, round two. Rory Jack Lek, one. PTT, one. Let's see what Senchai and Adam Quebec can come up with in the main event this evening. Outside fight kick there by Senchai. Quebec trying to throw one back. Yeah, Senchai, the age of 43, and he's still kicking it. I know you may have noticed that Sanchai is the only one who gets to fight in gloves here on Thai Fight. He was starting in Thai Fight though, that wasn't the case. Yeah, it wasn't. He made his uh, Thai Fight debut, I believe it was in Vietnam. It was indeed. I think that was back in 2000, 2013 or 2014. So I even think it was 2016 or 15. No, it was before I joined in 2015. Oh, right. Yeah, so I think it was either 14 or 15. So it, for almost 10 years with Senchai in Thai fight, very close. Good big low kick there by Senchai, the artist of the Thai fight canvas. Pink, a pretty picture already here in round number one. Good leg switch there from Senchai. Oh, and then a good kick to the body. Oh. Two kicks to the body, unanswered. Right arm of Quebec and the body taking a big good combo. Left jab. Solid D there, Quebec tries to throw a right hash. And an inside kick, he frustrated Quebec, but he's enjoyed himself in there with a legend. I mean, it's hard not to be starstruck when you're taking on someone <laughs> like Sanchai. Can you imagine what he's thinking right now? Oh, left knee there. Right elbow, sorry, left elbow. And he's making his Turkish opponent miss. This happens as well. When people fight Sanchai, they've nailed it. They become starstruck and they forget to fight back. Another kick there from Sanchai. Sanchai trying to maneuver around. Perhaps trying to find an opening for a kick. Another low kick there from Sanchai. Kick to the body. Sanchai Whoa. very much in control. Yeah, looking for a knee, but got caught with the right hand. Oh. He's not throwing. He's got to throw more. I'm just wondering how does Sanchai fight at this pace at the age of 43? He's been pulling on forever. Hey! A little spooch there by Sanchai. No smiles though from <laughs> his opponent, oh, Kabak. Was a fighter, of course, back in the day. Peng Tiang Noi, known as the Deadly Kisser. Oh, <laughs> it's not a Sanchai fight without the cartwheel kick. Just missing there though. Entertaining the crowds here. Ever the showman. Huge kick to the body there by Sanchai. Kabak took it well though. End of round number one here on Thai Fight. Sanchai as he returns here to Thai Fight, pulling out all the tricks from that glorious bag of his. You can see everything 
Left kicks, the cartwheel kick even came out at one point. The Sunshine Shuffle, jumping low kicks that I feel like are unique to only him. And during the break, I mean, the viewers at home may have not <laughs> yeah, seen yeah, it. Yeah, they wanted to. Sanchai did a bit of dancing for the audiences. And there's a little smooch there from Sanchai. It's a wry smile there, it's on the big screen. Working on a tight oh, fight. Terrible, isn't it? <laughs> Why do I even bother? All right, here we go, round number two. Side kick. Yeah, I mean, Kabak was told by his quarterman that he needed to start pushing in this round. He can't show Sanchai a lot of respect anymore. No kick there from Kabak. Yeah, Connects very well. Another good low kick from Kabak. Yeah, be more aggressive this round. That's exactly what he needs to do. Oh, good right high kick there by Kabak. Kabak needs to do more of that. He needs to stop respecting the legend. And just go in for the knockout blows. But at least fight back, which we didn't see in round number one, if we're being brutally honest. Much better showing so far in round number two. Oh, good left hand, sorry, right hand by Kabak. Yeah, very impressive by Kabak. Where was this Kabak in the first round? That's a swingy right hand there by Kabak. Okay, by Sanchai, into the clinch we go. Sanchai seemingly in control. Another kick oh. to the body by Sanchai, and Kabek would have felt that one. Sanchai seems to really favor that inside thigh kick. Left leg goes, Kabek, oh, he's been jumping. Tony back elbow there. You know, during the break, I heard Kabek's corner tell, tell him to go for the low kicks, and I think they're onto something here. Oh. The low kicks that he has thrown has really hurt Sanchai. I'm not sure about her, but it definitely had an effect. Yeah, 100%. I gotta say, the shot of the round so far has been that high kick. Oh, back to the thigh, the inside thigh of the turn. Good right hand once again there by Kabek. Left kick to the body by Sanchai. Beautiful knee there and a takedown by Sanchai. Yeah, not as much smiling now by the GOAT. Taking this a lot more seriously. Talking a knee and an elbow. Vincent Sanchai. Yeah, he loves that combination. Wasn't able to find all of it. I think he's the only one who can throw with such fluidity. Even at this age. Kick to the body by Sanchai. Another kick to the body. Kabek returns to the right hand. Oh, again, yeah, looking for a back move there. Back. Elbow is trying to this round. Now, speed back to this. I'm trying to make it at least uncomfortable for Sanchai. Well, whatever it was, it definitely was a spinning technique. Yeah. The good knees at the midsection once again by Sanchai. <laughs> Kabek is pushing Sanchai's knees away and another kick to the body by Sanchai. He goes for it again, he connects. Good sweep from Sanchai. Oh, Kabek's taking oh. his time to get into his feet. A very bad side there for the Turkish fighter. Starting to cover up that leg, but also the side of that body as well. Oh! And just when he was covering up the body, the master throws a left eye kick that knocks down Kabek. That was impressive there. Kabek was so worried about his body, he was yeah. so worried about his legs, but then the high kick came in, and oh. that is the end of the second round. Hey, with us, the conclusion will be up next. Have a look at the highlights from round number two. There was that right high kick. It was just the toes instead of the chin, uh, instead of the shin connected to the chin of Sanchai. But after that, Sanchai more business-like in his approach against this Turk. Yeah. Started to go low, and of course to the midsection, which opened up the head. And 
There question it was. mark kick. The question mark kick. The second like one we've seen tonight. Yeah, indeed. First one, of course, from Kyopen. And we've seen Sunshine knock out opponents one time, I can remember here. You see, look at his eyes looking down, and he was protecting his body and his legs, thinking the kick was going to go there instead. He created that question mark, and it. Sensational. Yeah, he has knocked out Henrik Muller, I believe, a long time ago here on Thai Fight with that question mark kick. So, got to give props to Adam Quebec for getting up. And at the end of that second round, the bell did go just after that knockdown. And we did hear some instructions from his corner. What did they say? <laughs> My team. Oh. <laughs> It was boom boom low kick. Yeah, boom boom low kick, attack, attack, attack. Make out from Nabil Anand. Going for the high kick once again. It's a good kick there from Kabak. Oh! Good move for there from Sunshine to move out of the way. Kabak attempts the moonwalk. Another low kick from Sunshine Connects. But tree trucks for legs, doesn't he, Kabak? He's in tremendous shape. He really is. 37 years of age, let's not forget. That kick to the body again. Sunshine just going to work with those kicks on Kabek. On the knee oh. connects there. Big right hand though from Kabek. Sunshine, footwork is absolutely incredible. You don't see foot like that, like that from any other tie fighter. No, you really don't. I mean, it's a style that no one can really replicate. Oh, almost. Get out of the way. You don't move out of the way of that one though. Low kick. Big elbow there from Sanchez. Kabek. He needs to get out of the way. Big team by the master. For the low kick. Teeing off right now on Adam Kabek. Kabek back on the ropes. Sanchai waits to counter, but never mind. He throws the left kick to the body. Kabek. Yeah, he's looking for that right hand. Pocking it back. Oh, he connects with that one. Yeah, good cross there from Kabek. Their time to disengage. Oh. You know, the fight continues. Oh. The body connects to Sanchez, scoring him some big points. Kabek oh. on the retreat. Needs a low kick. Yeah, this is where Kabek really can throw everything he's got yeah. at Sanchez. So wary of those left kicks coming in. Blocked. A high kick there for Sanchai. Kabek just not hitting back at the moment. Oh, another left high kick there. Almost got, almost went through the guard. Seems like Kabek just froze. Or maybe he's just out of ideas, I'm I not think, sure. I think that's pretty much it there. And I think he should say to himself, all I want to do now is survive till the end of the round. And you can say that I went three rounds, I went the distance with Sanchai. I can't really blame him, to be honest. No, I mean, it's been one-way traffic the entire match. Kabek did have his moments. He did hit Senchai with some hard yeah, shots. He had a couple of moments. A couple of punches and high kick. Oh! Trying to go for the Senchai special. He's been watching Kyopet earlier on here tonight. And there it is! The end of the third and final round. Pete Senchai. Back in the groove here on Thai Fight. A wonderful display. Artistry at its finest by the legend. Yeah, fair to say it's been a very easy night for the judges here <laughs> on Thai Fight. But for the referees, I think that's another story. That's true. Very true indeed. Yeah. All right, folks. We're going to leave you and say thank you once again for joining us here on Thai Fight International. We hope you enjoyed this event. If you didn't, there's something clearly wrong with you. We'll see you next Sunday for the return of Thai Fight League. Thank you once again. I've been Aaron Suri Sampan. He's been Kevin Armelid. You've been amazing. Thank you. And see you next time. Have a good Thai night. Fight. Bye bye. เอาละครับตอนนี้จะอยู่กับเดี่ยวเป็กเดดดราก้อนกันนะครับกลับมาแล้วฮะปิดท้ายกันหน่อยนะครับความน่ารักทั้งนี้นะฮะแล้วก็ความมันนะฮะ
โอเคครับตอนนี้เราถึงเวลาประกาศผลกันแล้วนะครับสำหรับคู่สุดท้าย The w i n n e r ข้อมวยสารไทยพีเกสารไทยมวยไทยเย่กลับมาพังงานอย่างสมศักดิ์ศรีนะครับผมแต่ว่าครั้งนี้นี่คือเป็นพอไม่ได้ขึ้นเวทีนาเนี่ยมันจะเหนื่อยนิดนึงแต่ตอนนี้ถือว่ากลับมาเรียกความมีชีวิตชีวากลับขึ้นมาซึ่งถือว่าคู่ต่อสู้วันนี้ก็สูสีมากๆเลยทีเดียวนะครับโอ้โหเอาละครับแน่นอนอ่าแน่นอนนะครับเดี๋ยวอย่าลืมนะฮะไปถ่ายรูปกันได้นะครับกับทัพทิกรก็ได้นะกับนักมวยก็ได้นะครับผม